This is your average inductive 3D printer prop. And in this video, we're going to replace it with big 3 tag AD coil, which will give us an opportunity to achieve extremely fast bad surface scans. AD current sensors are relatively new technology in 3D printing space. They initially gained popularity due to their extremely fast speeds in generating bad height maps. One of the pioneers in this field was the company that created bacon probes. Unfortunately, some of these probes are quite expensive and often out of stock. That is why when Big 3 Tech reached me out to try one of the first version of AD coil, I was very intrigued to explore this new to me technology. My underwire was built quite some time ago, back when the Warner Stealth Burner was still in active development. While installing AD coil, I took the opportunity to clean up my setup, upgrade the tool head with the latest parts and switch to the EBB36 tool head board. This upgrade simplifies the setup, reduces the number of wires that need to be routed to electronics bay and comes at the total cost of $30 with AD coil. And after removing all unnecessary wires, I assembled the tool head using the EBB36 train relief mounting plate by 3D Cows that I found on printables. So I just finished assembling the tool head, we are going to be using EBB 36 for the controller board. This will be run via USB with USB mod. This is how full assembled tool head is looks like. With this motherboard, you can use I square C devices, and that's what AD coil for. It's a very simple version. You don't have to have a firmware for that. You just basically plug it in and use. What we have in the package is little I square C cable, some mounting hardware, rubber duck and AD itself. Big 3 Tech Eddy is pretty much a drop-in replacement for Amron inductive probe, as it matches the dimensions quite well. The only steps left were to flash the EBB36 with new firmware, run the few tests and wire up the umbilical cable. And with this work done, we are pretty much few steps away from starting to print. All right, let's talk about electronics. I have Big 3 Tech SKR Mini E3 V3 motherboard, and it's connected to the Raspberry Pi via UART connection. And then we have umbilical wire coming in. D plus D minus goes directly to the Raspberry Pi. I have soldered D plus and D minus pads to have a connector right here. And then you have two wires that goes directly to the power supply, which will power EBB board on the tool head. The motherboard is only used for kinematics of the printer and for the heater bed. The rest is controlled via EBB tool head board. I won't be going deep into the details of setting up the AD coil, as there is an excellent manual provided by Big 3 Tech that you should read if you are planning to use this prop. However, the manual is missing few critical comments that you will need during the setup. One is to clear up the bad mesh and another is to set Z positions since you can't home properly before completing the Z offset calibration. Also double check your starting G code and remove any mesh profile load instructions from your sequence. This is the first screen, no calibration at all. I just basically hit print with wherever I add bolt for first layer. Little did I know I'd be spending next few days testing first layers, chasing perfection. Sometimes the printer would work flawlessly, while other times it would print with the nozzle just slightly closer or further away than we needed. While the mesh was perfectly accurate, something was wrong with the homing routine, which sets the Z offset. After a few sleepless nights, I noticed that during the first homing sequence, whenever the probe was far away from the bed, first few probes, like a discharge, show deviation of almost 0.03 millimeters. This is critical for the first layer, especially when we print it at 0.2 millimeters layer height. One common approach in 3D printing community is to increase the first layer height to 0.25 millimeters to reduce the impact of the deviation. However, this can lead to over squeezed first layer if nozzle is too close. Another approach was to modify the G code provided by Big 3 Tech and add extra probing cycles during Z homing. Using the probe accuracy test, I implemented this modification and after that change my Z offset became much more consistent with minimal deviation. I have never expected to spend so much time printing squares and how you guys have spent your holidays. Leave your comments into the description. I personally really like the cleanness of umbilical cord setup and the speed of AD coil probe. 
Keep in mind though that this prop only works with metal bed surfaces and it can experience drift, which may be an issue for enclosed printers. The SB version of this prop includes a drift calibration procedure to address this problem, but for an enclosed printer like mine, the AD coil is perfect fit. This technology is definitely opens an interesting view on 3D printing. Just look at this 50 by 50 mesh. There's definitely some kind of kinematics issue in my printer, which I will have to investigate later. Thank you all for being with me this year. I really appreciate your support. Don't forget to leave your likes and comments and I see you at the next one. Happy New Year!